This is insane. Look at this. Oh, it's pretty springy, as you think a suspension bridge would be. Right, good morning. It's only, I think it's only half past seven, so it's super, super quiet here. I'm trying not to be too loud, but I'm getting an early dart. I'd probably had the worst sleep I've ever had in my life because I was really operating on UK time. But, um, yeah, so I'm now I'm heading out to Canada Place where I was yesterday to try and get the free shuttle bus to Capilano Suspension Bridge. But one of the things I didn't do, charge my phone up, upload onto Instagram, but I didn't charge this camera. And this is only, it's lost, it's lost one bar. It's on two battery. And uh, yeah, let's hope it lasts. I've got this as well, but let's hope it lasts. Let's get to Capilano Suspension Bridge and then later on we'll try Granville Island. Should be amazing. Right, I think I'm gonna, I think I've slipped into a guided tour of the suspension. Actually, no, I can keep going. Of the suspension bridge park, I made it. Bus from downtown Vancouver, and now I'm having a wander around. There's loads of totem poles, which reminds me of my granddad because he used to have a big one in the in his living room. Uh, look at all these. I'm gonna get some pictures, and then we'll hopefully be able to see the suspension bridge. Hopefully, it's quite quiet. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. I believe there's free Wi-Fi as well, so I want to get on that. I don't know what the Wrexham score is. They were 2-1 down for ages, but now I need to find the score. Maidstone away, come on. This is insane. Look at this. Oh, it's pretty springy, as you think a suspension bridge would be. But yeah, it's actually busier than I thought it would be at this time. And um, there's some lockout spots that I'm trying to find. But, uh, yeah, wow. It is amazing. Everyone's getting their selfies in. And uh, just look at it, look at that. Oh, God. Look at the height though, which you're operating at. No time for jelly legs. Right, I made it across the suspension bridge. Everyone's trying to get the best picture possible. But it is, it is shaky than I thought it would be because it's so sturdy, but it's not so well. Um, the person behind me slowed right down, so it means I can get a nice clean view of the bridge. But I made it across. Anyway. Yes, I feel... I hope I've got a good Instagram. That's the main thing. But now there's loads of different bits I can do now. Right, the treetops adventure, that's where we're meant to be going. So... It's very... because it's such a big space, it's so spread out. And also, I don't really think people know that many vloggers here because everyone's looking at me super, super weird. Right, I've now switched to the cliff walk. As you can see, it's pretty busy. It, it, I don't know what, what time is it now. A couple of hours since I've probably been here a couple of hours taking a breather. And this is very high, oh, I just realised. Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty busy now. And, but definitely, I think the entry was 45 Canadian dollars, which isn't too bad when you convert it back to um, English. But yeah, if I had my student card with me, even though I've just graduated, I think I'd have been all right. I'd have saved $9, but I didn't have it with me. Um, oh, everyone's stopping now, so I can't go any further. But this is the view of the bridge. 
from where I am. What was that? Hopefully, I've seen a lot on Instagram. Hopefully, I can get a good picture of this. Cliff walk. Right, I've just left and I got that certificate. I made it. Oh, you, have to, you have to get a load of stamps to get it. But I think I just blagged a couple of the stamps once I passed them. They, they all look the same to me, so. But anyway, there you go. Officially made it. Do I get it framed or not? I don't think so. Maybe though. I've just walked down. I ended up getting a bit confused at where I was going. So I switched to Cardero Street, which is what I'm still on. And I've just walked the complete length. I'm near the bottom now, I'm trying to get the Aqua Bus to Granville Island. I just saw a lady have a, have a serious go at, oh, there's someone in front of me, at uh, an owner for leaving the dog in the car. And she was honestly, she was going in. She was saying about how that you should just give the dog away and uh, yeah, I don't think they're still behind me, but uh, yeah, she was just going in and in, in on this guy that had, um, that had left his dog with the window open. I think it was a pug, and uh, and yeah, he just left it in there. He was he just returned to the car. The window was open, and she was just absolutely going in on the guy. If ever. I thought she was going to absolutely deck him outside his own car. But alas, the old lady relented. Uh, but yeah, just look around, it's such a nice little, I'd say little community, little neighborhood area. And we're just about to get to the beach. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm trying to get the aqua bus over to Granville Island. I think it's, it's not even one o'clock yet, so I should have time. But my sense of direction, we probably won't get there. In there. <clears throat> I could barely film, but I managed to grab an ice cream and some pizza. But I didn't even realize the more you kept going around, the more there was. So, like, there was fish and chips, but that had like a mile long line. Uh, but it's, oh, honestly, I can see, it's so easy to see why people want to live out in Vancouver because it's super, super chilled out. And it's just it's like a city, but it's so chilled at the same time, and no wonder tourists keep coming here. And also, everyone's super, super attractive. But, um, yeah, that's just a classic me thing to say. And now I'm just trying to not rush it, I think. I think I'm just trying to absorb it all and take in the lovely day. Just the two of us. We can't make it if we try. Just the two of us. you mean that? Right, before I go back out, I thought, I don't think anyone's in this rental at the minute, but I think before I go back out to try and get some night pictures, I thought I'd recap a couple of things before my camera just started dying on me. That I noticed today is, I'm not sure if it's in effect now or whether it's soon in effect, but I'm pretty, but I'm, well, I'm not pretty sure. I know that um, they're legalizing marijuana in Canada and the amount of people using it just regularly on the streets from what I've seen so far, it's crazy, like a crazy, crazy amount. So there's always that lingering sort of in the air. Um, but the, the weirdest thing I saw today was at Granville Market, um, with all the food food stalls. Uh, well, firstly about that, it, if anyone watched the Copenhagen vlog, they went to Paper Island with Misha, and it was sort of like Paper Island, but ten times bigger and probably 10 times better as well it was just so much more varied and the variety was amazing I think if I lived in Vancouver that's where I would go and get my fresh fruit and all that kind of thing but yeah the weirdest thing I saw was um, a bride she, it, fully in her wedding dress she'd clearly just got married and then gone straight she might have got married on the island but she'd gone straight to the food market to get where was she stood 
I think she was at the German stands and she was getting like a German hot dog or schnitzel or something like that and it was just bizarre. Imagine doing that. Well, I wonder where, where's the strangest place back home that people have gone straight after their wedding. Imagine going to a food market straight after your wedding though. I'm trying to let me show you where I walk today. So, if we look at this map. So, this map here. We are currently, we are based around East Georgia Street, which is here. But we're just this little one there, so we're about there. So then we walked all the way to Canada Place, which is up here. So we walked that route to get the bus this morning. Then I decided I would walk, I thought I was just going to walk all the way down, but I didn't for some reason. I walked all the way along here to... I think it was around this part here. So I walked all the way along there. Then I walked down Cardero Street. So I walked about there. There. Then I walked all the way around here to Science World. And then back up. So I've I've honestly I've gone right around the whole this is tomorrow, Stanley Park. For a second, I thought I'd burnt my hand, but that was just a stamp from Capilano Suspension Bridge. I really thought I'd burn that pretty badly. Before I go and finish this vlog, these are a couple of pictures I managed to capture tonight. I really like that one actually. From that's in Gastown. As the lights went down, I had to be out in time for some, that's a little bit overexposed. But there's some in here that are super super nice. Let's see if I can find. There was one I was aiming to get for the whole purpose of me going. And let's see if I can find it. Here we go. So this was the key reason why I wanted to go. But as you can see and see. People were stood in front of it the whole time. But there we go, that is the one I was after. Candle 115, nobody stood in front of it. Right, back after the, I would say stroll downtown. I ended up walking all the way to Canada Place again. But that was where the Canada 150 sign was. And after a seriously long time waiting, I managed to get the shot I was after. And I was just so grateful that people weren't in the way. But actually, actually allowed me to mess about with my manual exposure. So it looked super nice with just the the bright light and then sort of darkness around. I thought it looked much nicer than just shooting on auto. Um, and then yeah, walking home, it was just sort of it was really busy, but it was all going on. There was protesters. There was a lady getting taken away by police for being drunk and disorderly. And yeah, Vancouver sort of come alive at the night time I guess but this vlog was far more packed and juicy <laughs> than the first day that I came and I've also just spoken to my Airbnb host and she was really really nice we were chatting about her own business and her previous stint in Toronto which was cool because I'm going there on the third leg of this trip third out of four um, Stanley Park tomorrow, Lionsgate Bridge I want to see, and a place called Colourful Alley. Let's hope that lives up to its name. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the Candice the series, please give that a thumbs up. I'll probably put them all in a kind of playlist. If you haven't already, subscribe. You're clearly watching this to this point. Just subscribe. Be an absolute legend. And as always, I will catch you tomorrow for another vlog later.